Okay. I'm gonna do some uh, push-ups on the shins. Okay. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry for introducing ourselves here, for not introducing ourselves. Uh, this is James P. Madonna, Mega Life 21 Live. Uh, it connected with uh, the Facebook group uh, International Brotherhood of Polyvans. I'm here with my very special guests all the way from Perth, Western Australia, Mr. Uh, Paul Terrace uh, Walkowinski. Walkowinski. And he is on the World Tour, Indian Club World Tour 2013. He is in New York City now and he has come to my domain here, my residence in New Jersey, Northeastern New Jersey. Glad to have you with me. Thank you. All the way from halfway around the world. Now, we're just gonna do sort of a reality show. We're gonna go about our business and we're gonna demonstrate Indian club and Persian meal swinging. Um, and uh, right now I'm gonna be doing push-ups with the Shenna board. Shenna board made by a revolutionclubs.net as you can see and so were, were my clubs but anyway uh, right now Paul has a pair of uh, white oak British style um, Indian clubs made by revolutionclubs.net I'm just gonna do whatever hopefully the camera Oh, let me check it. I'll check it. The camera can see. It might be glare with the sun. But... Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. You yeah. You see me? All right. Yeah. These are the Hindu um, pushers. here in this part of the country and uh, it's supposed to dry off which is good it's actually it was a blessing that Paul could make it today <laughs> and not yesterday because yesterday was rained out yeah that was all right I'm gonna attempt some dive bomber push-ups on the Shenna
estimated uh, piece of equipment. Very simple looking, but uh, definitely not as popular as it should be. Okay, so this is a five pound revolution. Five, five pound white oak rev by revolutionclubs.net. Five and pound. This is a sequence of um, outward swings changing to parallels, changing to inward swings, changing back to parallels. Okay, so. attempt because you never know what's going to happen. Whatever happens stays in this video. I don't believe in censorship. I'm going, oh, I'm going to attempt <laughs> the Persian style push-ups that you see them doing in the Zirkane with the Shana board. right shoulder so I'm nursing that uh, I always like to go to failure on everything but that's only me okay so these are alternate heart shapes we flex up with an turn around on do them from both sides so you can see the camera This move I call a wave because it looks like a ro wave rolling into the seashore. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and the surf breaking down as it rolls right. up on the beach. Right, and then we reverse it. Wow, look at this coordination here by Paul. Look at this. Okay, back to parallels. And this is the Tom Burroughs roll, arm roll. That's an arm roll. That's no egg roll. Arm <laughs> roll. Have a heart, people. Try the heart shape. <sighs> Very invigorating. I wanted to make sure my tank top matches clubs. 
these are specially custom made for Paul. Yeah, uh, uh, I made them myself. Oh, by Paul? Yeah. For Paul, of course. Made of pine. Uh, and the only reason I painted them was basically so you could actually see how the roll happened. Oh, that's right, like a barbershop. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was the only reason I painted them. So you could see the roll. <laughs> this man does his research before he does anything. That's very clever. And, and also, he designed them so they would be suitable for traveling. Be, be able to fit in his luggage. We all know how airline security can, can be nowadays. You know, they like to feel people up and all kinds of things. If I was felt up by the right airline security, that's another story. Now, I uh, tried the, uh, from uh, Carl Gotch, the, uh, the one-armed style. It's, it's sort of a one-armed style. It goes to the side. I'll show you. Right. This is the eggplant meals. Made of high quality hickory. Painted a uh, deep royal purple by revolutionclubs.net. Owned by Mr. Christian Darce. These are the exact replicas of the uh, ones from Iran. Uh, owned by Richard Army McGuire. He is doing, Paul is doing the uh, inside mill yep. or inside mill heart shape or whatever you want to call it. No, it's inside. Inside mill. Well, it's a circle basically. It's inside circle. It's like a mill if you like, yeah. How do you like that shape of club? It's very nice. In terms of, in terms of smoothness of swing. And then, of course, with these you can go to the outwards too. So that's outward that way. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't mastered that. I might as. Beautiful. And then to cap it all, inside, inside, outside. Whoops, outside, inside, outside, outside. outside. Outside, 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 inside, 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 inside. Beautiful form. Of course, if, if you want to, I have a tape rule. If you want to take the dimensions of those, you're welcome. My last, my last sh -sh -sh shin exercise. I'm going to do the uh, um, what Carl Gotch called the, uh, the the pump handles, almost like an old-fashioned pump for a well. Mostly hits the triceps. Supporting muscles.
So this is a 20 pound revolution. Yeah, uh, hickory, a, I call it my pickle barrel. Short, stubby, fat, high quality hickory made by Revolution Clubs. Dot net. Kills my shoulder joints because it because of the I know it has a different feel to it, but uh, than any crunches, leg raises, or sit-ups. No, you know what? This ground is lumpy, so I'm gonna do it the standard way. It's real lumpy ground. What I learned. Huh? Why, uh, why? Yeah, okay. So.
This is a very effective lower body leg exercise explained to me by Richard Army McGuire who was taught by a, uh, an Iranian Palavan in uh, the Los Angeles area I believe. It's, uh, it's a modified Hindu squat done the way the Palavan showed Mr. McGuire. Grab the, the clubs and you hold them like ski poles. exercises. fight but No, no, that's um, Cobbett and Jenkins. Oh, Mike, Jenkins. Mike doesn't like. I mean, he does them. He does the, um, the flat button. It's called. Um, yeah. On on um, demand, but he doesn't. I don't think he actually likes it very much. Well, from what I understand, it's it's a good idea to have the pinky be very comfortable. Yeah. In case you want to go to the very end. Sure. I see what you mean about ergonomics. Yeah. Ah, yes, the bump. I'll show you people in a, in a, in a little bit. 
what we're talking about. So any wood turners out there in the world who want to apply science and common sense to their club design can give it a shot, you know? show you what I mean, what we mean. Now you see the lumps, uh, it's, few, the grip. it's the hand grip, the hand grip, a few inches from the knob. You see the uh, how it flares out. All right, that's ergonomically comfortable for the natural gripping shape of the hand, the inside of your palm. For you uh, visually impaired <laughs> or visually in plums or papaya or whatever fruit you want to see. That's it. Oh, no, hang on now. Now, here's, a, here's an experiment. Here's one of those one of these. Uh, so what I was talking about in the, in the um, interview, if you watch the size of the circles that each one of these does, Especially if I'm doing them behind my back. I see it takes longer to circumference. Yeah, the... and I'm going to slow the I'm going to slow the smaller club down. <coughs> so describing a much different circle. And both of these clubs weigh the same, people. Yeah, two pounds each. Two pounds each. So I mean, basically, if we do twirling, hang on, I'll just turn on and do this. One. Yeah. What? So you can see the size of the circle from the both clubs. Me. The club, the club with the red stripe is pine and longer. The 24 inches long. 24 inches long. The short one is also two pounds, but it's made of white oak. And of course, shorter. Yeah, you could feel the difference too when you're swinging them. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, as you can see, it is not autumn yet, and uh, you feel very thirsty and hot. You want to take a water break? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a water break. So we'll come back out. Greetings everyone. Welcome to, uh, I don't know, I guess you can call it Akara Zirkane, New Jersey, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Welcome to Indian Club World Tour 2013 with myself, James P. Madonna, and my very special guest from Perth, Australia, one of the uh, world's most foremost authorities on uh, circular training. Paul Taris Owolkowinski and uh, this is phase two since we had to take a water break. Ice water with lemon. Now I, I want to do uh, let's see. Oh are you on? No I'm not. I'm just I've just got to change cameras so I'm just quickly doing that now so I didn't realize. Oh okay. Well anyway at least my introduction is on something. Um, yeah, wait, I'll wait till you get started before we do anything. Ah, refreshing breeze. Got it? All right. Okay, here we go. Indian Club World Tour 2013. James P. Madonna, uh, 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 Paul Taris Walkowinski in the Garden State of New Jersey just outside of New York City. Here we go. This is, of course, the Australian flag. Flag display by Paul.
sorry. Whoa. <laughs> what happened? I didn't like that one. Uh oh. This is called a windmill, by the way. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see why. You got yeah. the alter alternate the alternate some um, twirls. Twirls and the flag is like a form of uh, a form of going from heavy to light, a cool down type of yeah. burns when it gets into your eyes. It's like seawater. It certainly is. Oh. fun folks high quality wood white oak white oak revolution clubs five pounds
Now this is something called the Indian Cross. Okay. So it starts with outward um, outward heart shapes. Okay. And it changes to inward heart shapes. Here's the Indian Cross. It changes oh, wow. inward heart shapes. Now you can't change from inward to outward in the same way. So you do a side change here. Here we go. Outward. And you better know what outward. you're doing when you do this. Changing up. You can easily knock yourself out. One. Two. Indian cross again. And I'll just do it from the side so people can see it from yeah. the side. Learning this doesn't happen overnight, people. Tell you, my eyes burning from the, the, the salinity of the sweat proves that salt is a very important mineral. Uh, Macro mineral. There's plenty of it. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do, do a swipe with Mr. Chubby over here, the pickle barrel. I'll do a swipe with a flag press. Get a quick grip on it. Try my bad shoulder. See how it responds. Why don't you do it with the um, the purple meal? Eh, Second hand? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, let me yeah. get the clock. I knew I was missing something. You know, talk about something that the listeners can watch. Okay. Okay. Roman numerals. Okay. So what did you want to do with this? Uh, well, what I was going to do is I'm going to do a uh, screen with the purple cross. Okay. 
Okay. And then you do your uh, your light work. Okay. Um, I guess you want to see a second if you want. Yeah, I can see it from here. I play. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. And we'll do something like that. I did all this yesterday, so I'm a little pooped out. <laughs> you know why. Plus, I'm used to I'm used to doing this in front of an air conditioner. Yeah, it's pretty warm in this today. Yeah. Those those. I don't know about the Akaras, but those Zirkanes are definitely indoors in a, in a very, what appears to be a very thick walled stone building. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, I would think. Yep. That plus dry, uh, dry heat. I would imagine they're very nice inside. like the humidity we have here on the East Coast or if you live on the Gulf of Mexico I hear it's even worse. How was Hawaii? I hear there's a lot of trade winds blowing all the time. Yeah it was pretty humid that too. Really? Yeah. Huh. He's been following me around. <laughs> does, he, he live on, uh, does he live on Oahu or Maui or? No the main island I'm not, I'm not oh. sure which of the names. Oh the big the big no, no. Big, the big Where you land? Honolulu. Oh, Honolulu is, is o Oahu. Okay. Waikiki Beach, uh, Diamond Head. Now, do you remember what I was talking to you about during the interview? I mean, the clubs, holding the clubs right at the end at the moment. Okay. I'll slow it right down. Uh -huh. So the pinky's on the button. There, there it is there. Swinging the clubs now. And I can walk my hands down the club to the lip. So I'm shortening the club. And then basically, I can do this sort of thing. Oh wow! So it's a quick turn, and if I lengthen them, it's a longer turn. So mm. now I'm holding it between my thumb and um, forefinger. So that's the long turn. And if I shorten, so I jump the cubs down. Mm -hmm. And now I'm doing the same grip here, but it's on this lip here because I can actually figure out what that was for. And I'm sure that would have been for these sort of turns here. Mm -hmm. well, so it's just a bit of technical stuff about the clubs. From this world tour, you're, you're getting a lot of pointers, and just by looking at those clubs, ergonomic shape is the way to go. Yeah. And no, it's, it's, in, in every every type of club. It's massive. Okay. That, that bump I showed you. Sweaty hand, bad right shoulder. All right. Oh. I try not to. Uh, always try not to touch your body. I try to keep the clubs out in front. 
and uh, either lay them down or yes, the drum. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, people. I'm going to play my African drum to uh, fall swinging. I mean, swinging of clubs. <laughs> Getting the wrong idea. All right, just put a little.
Yeah. Something different. You know. Well, I want to march. Stop Monsanto. Stop Monsanto. <laughs> <laughs> certainly was invigorating, to say the least. Mm. Thanks to old, old Stumpy, the table. Believe it or not, my sister was going to throw out all those. All right. I never took that in. I left it out all winter. <laughs> I forgot it was out here. <laughs> oh, so anyway. Oh. The clubs. Indian Clubs World Tour 2013 with ergonomic handles. Uh, got a great feel to it. Uh, I saw one video where, where the guy was, it must be a beginner's work, and he was doing this, and then he was doing this. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, it's all pendulum, it's all movement, isn't it? And then he was doing, he was doing, he came up like this. He was, he was doing this. And then there's, um, oh. Yes. Leverage. Which really gets you. Sure. And right in the forearms, he's doing that. Then, of course, what you were doing. You know the, the the different mills and heart shapes, and uh, let's see, parallel swings. Right, he was doing that. But of course, you have tremendous amount of variations to all these, which well, it's basically just it's three circles. It's a full arm circle, wrist circle, and an elbow circle, inwards and outwards with both arms, and then you know that's six variations and there. And then you just modify that. And then you just go from there. Because those are the only basic so moves. So experiment, you can make. people. Those are the only basic moves you can you can make, right? Yeah. So because here it is. Look. Right. This is it. Full arm, full arm circle. Uh -huh. Inwards and outwards. Right. Elbow circle. Both yeah, ways. Enough. And then basically you can do a wrist circle here, or a wrist circle at the back, wrist circle at the front. And I mean, it's a permutation of all those circles, what I was doing. Those, those are the three basic Basically, moves. Basically, three, three moves. And I mean, and really, if you boil it down to it even more, it's, it's two, two circles, inwards and outwards. Okay. And then you've got, you know, you, you two together. And then the joints, wrist, yeah. elbows and shoulders. Yeah. Inwards and outwards circles. Yeah. So everything in Indian club circular training is are, are very, very variations of those three basic circles, moves. Circles, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we're making good time. That's, well, yeah, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're almost done anyway. Actually, we are done. We are done pretty well. We are done. Yeah. So this, it's probably dehydration that causes. No, I've, I mean, I've just drunk the rest of that water in one gulp, basically. Yeah, I need more. I, I wasn't sure if you if you uh, were a connoisseur on beer. That's why I didn't get anything. No, no, I don't, I don't drink it. You won't drink it. No. I would have to polish it off <laughs> myself. <laughs> but um, I do notice the difference between Mr. Pickle Barrel and the longer clubs. Yeah. In terms of how my shoulders feel. Sure. So, you know, of course it takes longer to complete the move. Yeah. With the long one, naturally. You know, it's just like, a, it's like those uh, wind generators, those windmills that convert movements of electricity. Some of them are so gigantic to make one, one revolution. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't spin around like, yeah. like a propeller. So that probably applies to the clubs.
Ah, that's enough for one day. Yeah. Okay, people. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for Indian Club World Tour 2013 in New Jersey with James P. Madonna. Special guest from Perth, Australia, Paul Tarras of uh, Walt Kowinski. And uh, James, thank you for hosting. It's been a pleasure. I, I, it's been an absolute pleasure and, and, and more. And then uh, I uh, want to take some shots after the show. Sure, sure. There he is. Next stop, England. Next stop, England, London. UK. Uh, Sheffield. Sheffield, England. And then Var Var Varanasi in India. What's the name of the town? Varanasi. Very Var nasty? Varanasi. Oh, Varanasi. Yeah. Varanasi. Along the Ganges. Along the Ganges. And Paul will not, and I repeat, he will not drink any water from the Ganges. No, <laughs> no I don't think so. Yeah. I hear India. Well, you don't drink beer. I was going to mention Kingfisher beer in India. Kingfisher lager is very good. Yeah. Uh, of course, the UK. You got all the ale you want. I know. I just like looking at them now. <laughs> <laughs> got Boddington's ale. I, what did I mention? Newcastle. 